Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting intimate. Salam Mike. new video. I had to um, unzip the jacket so you could see the layers. I had to put in the headphones to show you that I'm an entrepreneur. This is the international symbol of entrepreneurship in 2021. And you see these white strings coming from my earbuds? That's the international symbol letting you know that I'm a broke entrepreneur in 2021. If you see someone with the earbuds talking to themselves or a camera in 2021 without the strings, that means they're a highly successful entrepreneur. But as we sit here today, late January, I am the um, this kind of entrepreneur. Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen, talk about recovery, trying to optimize your off time, how to get the most out of your gains in your training, you're training hard, but you're not seeing the results. How do we recover? Recovering myths, jacked up words everyone's throwing around the internet, and all the fuggin' gimmicks that I'm sick and tired of, sick and tired, I'm so sick and tired of being sick and tired on the internet, I'm still seeing. We're just in an evolution hamster wheel of gimmicks and I'm over it. Word to your mother, send this out to your favorite Fitzbo. I'm coming after him, 2021. Huh. Hey. But first, be sure to subscribe. If you hate gimmicks, if you hate codes, if you hate people lying to you, taking advantage of people just trying to get better in the gym, who are don't have the time to do a million research on, on all these stupid products running around, give this thing a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash silentmike with two Ks. I feel good today. Sometimes you just find that flow, you know? I'm flowing. Step, 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 step. I'm in that flow. We're hitting TikTok. We're doing forum critiques on TikTok. Follow me there. Silent Mike with 1K is my fitness one. Silent Mike with 2K is the gaming one. I'm hitting a Q&A. Ah. On Instagram all morning, I'm a jamming, a little caffeinated, don't mind me. And now we're filming recovery. So, I got some questions on Instagram about uh, like vibrators, the kind that you shove into your muscles, and they asked if that recovers, or the electrodes, like Frankenstein, that you also put on your muscles, and they go twitchy twitchy. Which one's a better recovery tool? Modality. If you guys want me to use big words like everybody else on here. Both are trash. Now, I do think that a stim machine, something, uh, we're not gonna mention companies or names, um, you guys know the popular ones, may have some benefits in a lifter. You can get some muscle activation and kind of feel good. And it also emulates like an isometric training, uh, which basically means like a static flex, where you're not moving the muscle through a range of motion, but you're still flexing it really hard. Um, and that may have some benefits long-term or in blocks for strength or performance. So I don't wanna negate it, but again, the term recovery is just so overused, overrated, misunderstood. When we're talking recovery, all we want to do is put stimulus in our muscles. We wanna stimulate our body. I wanna stimulate you, and you wanna stimulate me, and the barbell can stimulate both of us. We want to take the time for our bodies to adapt to that, and then we wanna add a little bit more stimulus and a little bit more stimulus, whether that be for hypertrophy or strength. And over time, we're gonna get stronger, we're gonna get bigger. Now, what those stimulus is depends on our programming and our goals, right? Again, if our hypertrophy is our goal, we wanna dig in a little deeper, we wanna get a little closer to failure, we wanna train multiple muscle groups a week, or our, sorry, we wanna train the same muscle group multiple times a week and really push that thing to grow. Now, if we're talking about strength, we wanna do movement patterns multiple times a week, build the skill of that lift. Stimulus is the skill of that lift and recruiting more uh, muscle fibers and building in that motor recruitment to really push into the bar and become stronger over time. Now, there's a couple things we can do to kind of help promote that recovery or that process. Um, adequate protein, protein synthesis is gonna help in both hypertrophy and strength. About a gram per lean pound of potty mass is what we're aiming for. 
proper hydration and sleep. And I know people just say that, but that's 100% going to help you feel better long term. And it's not like, oh, I got good sleep tonight and then I'm staying up till midnight, waking up at 4 a.m. three days a row, then one good day of sleep. It's all about the consistency in our protein, consistency in our sleep, consistency in our hydration over a long period of time will allow us to find that flow and find that recovery to get stronger. Now, the last piece again is just programming. Um, if you are, what do they say? If you have a chaotic plan, you get chaotic results. I made that up, the saying something different, but the point is the same. If one day you're doing one set of 10 on bench, random next day you're doing 20 sets of 10, and then you wanna do plyo burpees with some push-ups, there's no progression to that stimulus, so recovery will be affected. We want a slow climb of volume, a slow climb of intensity, over time controlled, monitored, so that we can build our strength and build our muscle over time. We don't wanna just randomly one week do three total working sets of biceps, then next week do 12, and then the week after that do two, and then do four, right? We wanna build over time the progressions, the stimulus to our body so we slowly adapt over time. Same thing with the skill of strength. We need a certain amount of volume, a certain amount of intensity to grow. We wanna find the minimum range of that and then build upon that volume and intensity so that we can get stronger. Now, are there little things you can do? Yeah, I mean, not being a total fat lard could help. Hitting a nice warm up, getting some blood flow into our body before we train, and maybe even some blood flow on our off days, our rest days, or after training. Um, there's some research that shows that may help recoverability a little bit. Uh, there's a little bit coming out about some compression, um, but the other common question is soreness. Soreness is not an indicator of a good workout. Soreness is not an indicator that we cannot train or we're not recovered. Uh, soreness is, is our body's response to stimulus, and especially a new stimulus. So just because you're sore doesn't mean you can't train the same muscle. Just because you're sore doesn't mean that you're not recovering, and just because you're sore doesn't mean you had the sickest pump, sickest workout, bro. I can have you guys do a bunch of random exercises and get sore as shit. But that's not our goal. Our goal is not to get sore. Our goal, hopefully, is to get stronger, to be healthier, to look better. At least that's what my goal is, and so I assume you watching me have a similar goal, because that's why we're here connecting. All this CBD, recovering muscles. All of these vibrators in my muscles, recovering my training. All of these stim machines, all of these boots, again, the boots might be a little bit different because compression has shown some research. And I'm not the guy that says research and evidence is the only thing I need. If something's totally working for you and it's cheap and doesn't impact your life, by all means go at it. But you don't have to sauna, ice bath, compression, vibrate yourself, stim yourself all freaking day, chug CBD just to train, get better from training. These modalities weren't a thing 10 years ago. And we've had some very freaking strong people. And if your argument is, oh, there's stronger people now, my big bet, and I would tell you, is that the talent pool got bigger and training got a little bit smarter. It's not all these random pills and machines making people stronger in 2021 as opposed to 2005. Talent pool got bitter, bigger, genetics got better, more talented people, more freaks showed up into the sport. People have trained longer. 10 years ago, I had only been training you know, four years, now I've been training 14 years, right? I'm gonna be stronger, smarter, adapt better now. And that's the same with everybody in this sport and that's why this sport is pushing forward. Sure, some programming got better, some technical lifts might have got better, some people were getting more proficient in the lifts, sure, all that. It's not the CBD, it's, it's not the stim machine, it's not your fancy boots, it's not hanging upside down, and it's definitely not a piece of metal you're jabbing into your quad. Sorry to burst your bubble, all of that is fucking dog water. Hopefully that clears it up. Don't waste your money on that. Spend your money on some protein. Spend some money on your mother. Go buy your kids something. Go buy your girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other something. Spend that money elsewhere. Save your cash, my friends. Shit, go to Twitch and subscribe to me for some entertainment. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding, but I'm kidding. Money's better off on a good mattress, a good pillow, new clothes to make you feel good, a new sound system. Spend it on things that make you happy because the rest of this trash ain't helping you recover. Southern Mike, I'm out of here. New video Monday, Wednesday. Please subscribe. Video's popping. I appreciate y'all. Thanks so much. Clothing coming in the next two weeks. Shh. We'll do a little try on. I'll show you guys a little montage of some of the outfits coming. Absolute fire. I'm real stoked to share with y'all.
Appreciate you again. Salam alaikum.